So I'm actually just going to show you a quick video on how to rotate the housing on these pumps. So uh, depending on which way you need to mount it, whether it's uh, vertically or horizontal, um, you want to be able to, to turn this unit so that you're still reading the wording correctly and the configuration of the dial is still facing the right orientation. So it's actually pretty simple. This is a 0015E3 pump. Um, all you're going to do, and excuse my workbench here, I've been pretty busy and, and lazy, but um, you take an Allen wrench, there's four screws around here. Um, I actually already cracked them loose, so once you get them loosened up, you just spin them out. Um, and what you're going to want to do, just take note that you don't want to take this off of here. You just want to rotate the whole thing once all the screws are out. So. Um, these are usually really easy to break loose. So just make sure, you know, common sense, use the right size Allen wrench because if you strip it, you're kind of uh, out of luck as far as that. So um, take these four screws out. I got this one already loose. Yep. And like I said, you'll want to hold this together so that you're not, it doesn't pop up loose. Now, if it does, there's basically just an O-ring in there um, and you're going to want to make sure that that seats back down properly. I've done it a few times, accidentally popped it off, but um, you just want to make sure it's sealed. So my arrow, it's probably hard to see on the camera, but there's an arrow here pointing in the flow direction. So my flow is going to be going horizontally this way. So I want to rotate this. Let me see, sometimes they're a little, they're cracking loose, but yep. So this one's really snug. So just don't pull up on it, rotate it around. Because you don't want to break that O-ring seal until you line up the screws again. And now you can see this pump is configured horizontally so that when I'm looking at it and it's mounted, all the wording's the right way, the dial's pointing the right direction, and then my wiring can come either up or out of the bottom. Makes it a lot cleaner install. I all the time I see pumps installed and they're you know upside down. Um, they, most people probably just don't even realize you could do that. It does show in the manual you could do that. So maybe not every pump is capable of that, but the manual will specify um, if you are able to rotate it. So I also have some 0013 pumps that are a little bigger than this, and those can't be rotated. They just simply, um, you know, there's nothing in the manual about it. So unfortunately, um, it, it will show in the manual the correct orientations that the pump can actually be installed as well. So also pay attention to that, read the manuals. That's what I tell all my customers um, to just make sure before you install anything, just make sure you're doing it to the manufacturer's spec specifications. So um, just for example, once I get these screws in here, I'll show you that um, there's a few reasons why they don't want you mounting a pump a certain way. And Mainly that has to do with typically anytime you have uh, the motor inside or the pump, uh, pump itself, you don't want it to be like this because you either want it upward or facing um, or this way. You don't want it this way. Um, you don't want it standing up. And again, just follow the manufacturer's instructions. So go ahead, put your Allen screws in, um, snug them up. They don't have to be super tight. Don't wrench them where you strip it or crack the uh, the screw in there or you're probably going to end up buying a new one. Um, that O-ring that's in there will, will keep it completely sealed. The point of it is not to uh, rely on cranking these down for it to seal. So yeah, that's it. That's how simple it is to rotate. So if you have multiple zones and you do that, it makes your system just look way more professional and uh, yeah, hope you guys like that quick little video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.